Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> I'm speaking up here today to start a conversation and to put forward a concept which I invite all members of parliament to work together in a fashion <coughs> beyond party lines. I believe the time has come to look at making an option available to people which sits below the seriousness of an AVO. In this day and age, with the stratospheric uptake of online dating apps over the past decade, so many young people are meeting up and quickly engaging with prospective romantic partners who do not come with the verification or approval of friends or family or the wider community, as they may have done in decades gone past. Meeting up with people who are totally unknown other than what they purport themselves to be, and it can often take quite some time before people really get to know a person's true nature. It is clear that there are people in our community who are not safe to be around once an intimate relationship is brought to an end. What is clear to all is that there are people who do not accept no for an answer when they are informed that their advances are no longer welcome or that their relationship is being brought to an end by the other party. It is in circumstances like this where what I propose to be known as a no contact order may eventually become a necessary option which is currently unavailable. A less serious course of action than an AVO, a first port of call which people can easily avail themselves to and to which would serve as a very formal notice to the other party that the next step would be an AVO should they breach this initial no contact order, a form of final notice. People should be able to assert their right not to be contacted by someone once they've informed them of their wish not to be in a relationship and also not to be contacted again. Relationships are tricky, complicated and of course messy. But once a person has reached a point where they have given notice that they do not wish to be pursued any longer, they must have an avenue to have that wish imposed. Some might say this is where an AVO becomes an option already. But I can tell you, Mr President, from experience, applying for an AVO is not a matter to take lightly. It is an extremely confronting and triggering experience, particularly if you've not had reason to deal with the New South Wales Police before. To be clear, such contact, a no-contact order would not replace an AVO, nor would it be required before initiating an AVO, but it would be of assistance to police and the courts should such a no-contact order be breached by a person who ignores it, and it may be used as evidence when applying consequently for an AVO, which could assist greatly in that process. Mr President, I look forward to working constructively, genuinely, with anyone, MPs of all persuasion, or even those outside of this building to achieve an outcome and to give people who are being harassed a pathway to peace. Thank you.